In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my own Amazon review campaigns using AI Wise Mind. So this is a website that I just set up on my hosting or account. It's called tractoracc.com. Now at first I wanted this to be all about tractor accessories, but the more I was looking into Amazon for products, I realized I want this to be based more around farm and tractor supplies. So I went over to Amazon and I did a search for farm equipment. Now I do not live on a farm and a lot of this equipment, I have no idea what it is. So as I was scrolling down through here, I immediately saw something like this only 11 reviews, which means there shouldn't be a whole lot of competition for this product. So this here could be a niche of its own dump garden carts. I'm showing there was over 50 plus bought in the last month, but let's keep going here. You can see drip irrigation kits, automatic cattle waterer. Here you have a six piece agricultural kit for $1,200. Tow behind trailer boom broadcast and spot sprayer. Spot sprayers are huge for farms and not just for farms, but even for people who just has a lot of land and they want to keep down brush. This here would be a sub niche of its own. And you can see with this product of $349 price range, 300 plus bought in the past month. And we can go on and on through these. Each one of these can be their own sub niche of products. You can see here a goat water. This product is only $15, but yet it has 90 reviews. It also has a brand name in front of the product itself, which is going to make it much easier to rank for. So let's just click on this product and let's do a search for Millie fun goat waterer. And you can see here, there's only 2,480 results with Amazon and eBay being the top ones. And then you can see most of these other titles don't even have the keyword in it which means we could probably rank pretty easy in the top five or six on a brand new website for this product. So the first thing I want to do is to get this website set up and I'm going to use AI wise mind for that. The first thing I'm going to do is connect it to my account. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out all this information. Now I'm going to connect it. Now that the website is added, I can jump over to the site wizard to get it set up. I want to go ahead and fill out these details. So I got everything filled out for the title. I'm putting farm and tractor accessories for the tagline, just tractor supplies and farm supplies. And then under the description, this is really important because this is what is going to help AI wise mind to create all of these pages for you using this specific information. So it's unique to your website. You can see the options I got selected here and I'm going to come down and start to set up while it's setting up the website. It could take around five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start my first campaign. So we're going to jump over to Amazon product reviews, single product review, and we're going to title this one farm equipment. Now we're back on our Amazon search page. I'm just going to take the first part of this URL that has amazon.com and then the keyword that I'm searching for. We're going to jump back over to our campaign and paste it in the URL box. I'm going to scroll on down. I'm going to add in my affiliate ID. I'm going to go ahead and let it embed images and videos, but I only want to use the Amazon product images. So I'm going to untick these. Under the content customization, I normally always use the same thing because it gives me the best results. So what I'll do is under point of view, I choose second person, you, your, yours, and then under tone of voice, I'll usually do friendly. And then for the content length, I'm just going to do 1500 words. I find this is more than enough to rank nearly every Amazon product review that I post. Now under the total number of posts to create, since we're doing it on a search page, it's going to actually go through all of these products on the first page, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So what I'm going to do is just put this up to a hundred and then I'm going to schedule it. And then under schedule, I'm going to do three posts every day. We're going to select my site. I want it to be published. I want it to auto generate a featured image. Now I don't want it to auto generate the category. So I'm going to untick this box. And down here, if I click, it's going to show the existing categories on my blog. Now, because I started this campaign before the site wizard was complete setting up my site, you can see here, it's only showing blog as my category. So what I'm going to do, since I didn't take the time to wait for the site wizard to get done first is I'm going to save this as a draft. And then I'm going to jump back over to connect sites. I'm going to make sure I'm under the one that I set up for tractor accounts. And here you can see where you have the option to sync your categories. So if the site wizard is done and has already created my categories for me, we should see more categories down here listed. Once I do this, now let me refresh the page. And now you can see all these categories that it created for me automatically, which is exactly what I was wanting. 
So let me jump back over to my draft campaign, click on edit. We're going to scroll back down, make sure you add your site back. And now if I come under category and click, you can see all these categories have been synced up and I can pick any one of these to put these into. Since I'm focusing on such a wide range of products, these would actually need to be categorized separately into different categories. But because I'm doing it this way, there's no way for me to really pick one category for them all to fit into. So I have two options. I could either create separate campaigns for the different types of products that I'm promoting, which would take a lot longer, or I can create a generic category on my website to use for this campaign. So what I can do is click this plus button and let's create a new category. And we're just gonna call it farm supplies so it covers everything and click on create. Now that we have that set up, we can save it and run it. Jumping back over to my website, you can now see where it's created all these necessary pages that we should have on our site. Let's go into the dashboard. Now the first thing I wanna do is make sure we have a different theme on this site. So I'm gonna go under appearance and go to themes, click on add new, and you can scroll through here and pick a different theme to use if you want. For this example, I'm gonna use this one that I've been using called Blogus. We're gonna click on install and activate. Now if we jump back over to our website, this is what we currently have. I wanna edit this just a little bit. So I'm gonna go back, we're gonna go over appearance and customize. And you can see on the sidebar how it has recent comments, archives, and categories. I don't want those on there. So I'm going to go down to widgets, sidebar widget area. And these are the blocks that it automatically creates with this theme. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove these. And for now, we'll just leave the search and recent post and we'll publish it. This theme has a lot of its own features. You can also upgrade to the pro version, which will give you more, but this is okay. I'm gonna use it the way it is, and I'm gonna come down and also enable the featured slider. And make sure we click publish. For now, that's all the customizing I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now let's view the website and see if it's posted any articles yet. And you can see here it has. So we already have one article on here with is the Yardsome Dump Garden Cart. So if we click on it, you can see we have our featured image, our table of contents, and our full product review with links added throughout. And one thing you may notice is this is not the menu that I want showing here. I actually want my category showing here. So let me jump back over. We're going to go to appearance and menus, and I'm going to create a menu name. We're just going to call this main menu, and we're going to use this as the primary menu and create it. Next, we're going to come over here on the left hand side, go down and click on categories, view all, and select all, and then add to menu. Now, I don't want the blog in here, so I'm going to click this arrow and click remove. And farm supplies and farm tools are very similar. So I'm going to remove farm tools since I manually added farm supplies as my option in AI wise mine. And down here at the bottom, tractor attachments and tractor parts, they're pretty similar too. So what I'm going to do is remove tractor attachments. And then we're going to save the menu and view it again. And that looks much better. Now, the next thing I wanna do is, you can see it posted one post here. So what I wanna do is maybe jump back over to my campaign and scroll down. And you can see here where we have all these scheduled articles to be posted. Let me go ahead and click this drop down. We'll go to say 25. And if we scroll down, you'll find some of these are posted out over one week from now, which is okay. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get some of these posted. So let's go ahead and click this one. Let's just do three of them. Scroll to the top, click these three dots, and run them now. So what this is gonna do is go ahead and process these three product reviews and post them on our website. So now we're gonna have four posts on there instead of one, which is a decent start. But I also like to add a couple informational posts. So let's jump back to campaigns. And we wanna make sure we're on informational post. I know many of you are really into keyword research and you like tools that actually show you search volume and you can see your competition too. So I wanna show you a tool that I recently started using that many of you may be interested in. I'll put the link for it below this video, but as I'm gonna show you, this tool does a lot more than just keyword research. 
So if I drag this over here, you're gonna see where I did some keyword research on a keyword for a product that I found in Amazon I showed you earlier, which is a goat waterer. And if you look down here, this keyword itself gets over 10,000 searches a month and it has a low rating for keyword difficulty, which means you're a lot more likely to rank for it. On the right hand side, you can see the estimated search volume over different months. And then down here, you can see the top results that are ranking for this keyword, as well as some SEO data. If you want more, you can click on Analyze SERP, where you can see more in-depth analysis of the top ranking websites for this specific keyword. And it has other tools such as a SERP watcher, which is a rank tracker, a link miner to see backlinks, and also a site profiler. All these which you can check if you're interested in this product. So now that I know goat water is a low competition keyword, I can come up here and click on questions. And we're going to see all these different questions based around goat water. So if I click the search, it'll sort all these keywords by search volume. And if we scroll down, you can see how long can goats go without water? How much water do goat needs? If we were to click on one of these, it's going to get an analysis and show us the keyword difficulty of them. And we can see that all of these are in the green. So what I'm going to do for my first informational post is post something about a goat waterer. What I'm going to do is just take these top two and I'm going to use this one here. What is a goat waterer? Because this is a keyword search phrase in itself, but it also includes goat waterer. So I'm going to jump back over to my campaign and we're going to give it a name. So what I'm going to do now under keywords is I'm going to put what is a goat waterer and how much water do goats need every day? I'm going to go ahead and let it embed images and videos and I'll just double check it after it gets posted. We're going to do second person friendly. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and do 3000 words because it's an informational post. And because I'm only going to create one post based around this topic, I can even give it my own title. We'll post to my website, select my site, then under generate category, I'm going to untick it. And we're going to do animal care and farm tools. Click create. While that's running, let's go ahead and jump back over to our website and see if those other articles have been posted. And if we scroll down, you can see we now have product reviews for one, two, three, four different products. I am a little confused with this one because I have no idea what a thrust master is. So I'm going to double check it and make sure it's something for the farm. So this is more of something for a video game. And I'm not sure why it was listed on Amazon's page for farm equipment unless the vendor just selected the wrong category to put it in. So I'm going to go into edit this post and just delete it. So let's refresh this page and see if the article's done. And here we can see it is. So if we click on this, we're going to see the title that we manually created here. You're going to see this image, which looks like the same one that was on Amazon, a very in-depth table of contents that goes over everything about a goat waterer. Now, how do I monetize this site, especially once it starts picking up a little more authority and a lot of these posts really start ranking. So what you can do and what I do with a lot of these is I will create banner ads myself using Canva to put either in the sidebar or in the header and then link those to affiliate products I want to promote. I will also use AdSense on some of my websites. Many times I will install a plugin called Ad Inserter and it has many options. So where within that plugin, you can place banner ads or HTML text pretty much anywhere you want in your content. You can have it at the beginning, the middle, the end, throughout the content. They can be text links, they can be banner ads, anything you want them to be, even AdSense code, you can insert in there and it'll show up anywhere you want it to on that site. And as long as you focus on products and informational type posts that are not very competitive, like you're seeing here, you're going to have a much better chance, especially with a brand new website to start getting ranked fast for your product reviews and your informational posts.